five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Fiona, this is Sandra St. Victor. I'm uh, going to take the answers for you, for your efficacy vlog, which I think is majorly cool, by the way, young lady. I'm going to answer the questions. I have them on one screen here. The interviewer is the screen, and the interviewee is here on this screen. I'm in my surroundings here, uh, family stand, naturally. Shuggy Otis, don't leave home without him. Uh, he's just there to remind me to always keep it real when I uh, hit the mic. And okay, let's get started with the questions. The first one is, at what point did you know that you wanted to be an artist? What was the defining moment? Well, for me, I was um, at home in Dallas, Texas, where I grew up. I was eight years old, and I was in the living room dusting, doing my chores, and I was dusting this old lamp, and uh, I, was, I just started singing. And I, uh, I can right, right now recall the physical feeling of uh, just that knowingness. I just knew at that moment that that's exactly what I wanted to do, or, or even exactly what I was supposed to do. And I was excited, you know, about that feeling. I was like, oh, I'm going to be singing. I'm a singer. I'm a singer. And I ran into the other room, and I, and I told my dad, I said, Dad, I'm going to be a singer. When I grow up, I'm going to be a singer. And dad was like... Girl, go on back in there and stop all that foolishness. Go on there and finish dusting, you know. So that was my defining moment. Um, what's the biggest highlight in your life so far? Many highlights. I've been blessed. I'm thankful. I'm humble. Um, uh, uh, the many things that I've I had the opportunity to, to do so far. Uh, Career-wise, I'm going to have to say Curtis Mayfield. I did a duet with Curtis Mayfield. He chose to do a duet with me. Oh. Uh, his last album, New World Order, um, there's a song that we did called I Believe in You. Very proud about that. But just the experience of having one of your uh, icons, a legend, somebody who, who I respect so immensely, to validate or even to, to, to feel me like that. Yeah, pinnacle, <laughs> pinnacle, and I will absolutely never forget uh, um, just who he was and, and how uh, that relationship developed. Very special for me. If I could perform posthumously with someone, who would it be and why? That's hard. That's that's more difficult because there's just so many, so many cats I would have loved to share the stage with uh, or even seen live that I didn't get a chance to. Um, for, for me in particular, Jimi Hendrix, I'm going to say, because the close proximity of his sound to be there, to feel that, yeah, yeah, no doubt. And, and hell, he was fine as hell, too. Let's talk about that, huh? Jimmy was a, uh, ooh, that's, I'm not necrophile, I'm not, I'm, ex scratch that last week. If you could do one big ad campaign outside of the U.S., which market and why? Well, as I said before, I live in the Netherlands, so I, I'll probably say the Benelux, you know, Belgium, Luxembourg, and uh, Holland. Um, because of the, the freedom, the, the diversity, the, the non-hypocrisy. <laughs> um, um, television here, uh, ads are not necessarily... They're not stifled by religious dogma, that, that dogma of uh, you can't show booties on TV. You don't have that problem here. I mean, so you can just really celebrate things. Uh, and your next question, I believe, was what product? So in that vein, I'm going to say Dove because of an ad they have out here. And also because they're still one quarter cleansing cream, aren't they? <laughs> But, but I don't know if they have this ad out in America, but there's an ad here for Dove where the women are basically clothed in bubbles. And they're naked, except, you know, they got bubbles in strategic uh, places. And it's just a celebration of the female form. And you got all shapes and sizes and all ethnicities covered and and all different levels of, of uh, physical in shapeness and not in shape, whatever, it's just, it's beautiful. And I would love to be a part of that. Um, my husband won't let me because he's like, you can't be naked on TV. You know that religious dog. He's not religious though. <laughs> he just don't want me naked on TV. Ah, ah, boring. Um, if you could sleep with anyone, who would it be? Damn, Fiona. <laughs> ah! 
trying to start some. Um, okay, well, obviously, I'm not going to go the posthumous route again. Though that would be safer, of course, than what I am about to say. But, okay, you know who I would really, really, really like to get into it with? Seriously. I ain't saying. I ain't answering that. Girl, please. Try to get my butt kicked. Shoot. <laughs> Don't freak it away. Ain't answering. Next. Favorite social app? Facebook. I'm a Facebooker at heart. And uh, if I could pack three things, so I had to pack three things for a desert island island trip in isolation, what would they be? I know this is going to sound 80s, but this is for real. I would pack all volumes of conversations with God. I would pack a, a, a case of Merlot. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I think I would put uh, Shuggy Otis's entire catalog on my iPod and just, just you know, let it go. Let it run over and over and over and over and over. Any words of wisdom to share with fans and any advice to artists aspiring to be in your shoes. Um, be patient. Uh, I think that's probably... Be patient. Be, be prepared. Uh, be open-minded. Uh, don't let yourself be, be bogged down by any any set idea about how things have to happen. It's a new paradigm, y'all. It's a new world order for real music business. Everybody can make their own rules. Uh, and, and most importantly, uh, be you, you know? Okay, everybody else is taking it anyway. So, why not? All right, baby, peace out, baby.